to come and I've got to tell myself, don't pass, don't gush over this woman, have a little, have a little restraint here. I admire this woman so much, I could stand here and talk about her for a long, long, long time. I saw her in, in, in this movie, uh, Admissions, I just, I just, I just couldn't take my eyes off you, you know, to, to, to play. A young, attractive woman is a narrow range, but when you get to play a crazy old woman, the world is wide open for it. You can do anything. You can do anything. Your career is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I'm going to get older and older. That's good. That's good. We hope that you... I don't mind. It's okay. It's like... I went to see you uh, on Broadway, Search for Intelligent Life, that one woman. I never saw anything like that from the beginning to the very end. You gave the deepest bow I've ever seen a human being give outside of the ballet. And, um, and all of those characters, that parade of characters that came across that stage, I just couldn't take my eyes off you. Mm. Well, you're was awfully you, kind. Was your, was your lady there who was eating the rubber? Well, she, the rubber no, she wasn't in that show. She wasn't. No, she was an early character that I actually got, I think I got the job on laughing because of it. Yes? Yeah, she was uh, Lucille. She's Lucille. A, she's addicted to eating rubber objects. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so, no, no, Garrison, I tell you. You know, I think it all started one day I sat down to balance my checkbook. <laughs> I must have blacked out. Because when I came to, I realized I'd eaten an eraser off my pencil. <laughs> Listen, it wasn't any time at all. It was up to 20 pencils a day. <laughs> all my friends, my relatives, they started saying, Lucille, honey, don't you think you've had enough? <laughs> yeah, I thought I could quit any time I wanted. Instead, I became Garrison. I became a secret eraser eater. <laughs> One day, my husband, Walt, came home early. I was just finishing off a typewriter eraser. <laughs> ah, he caught me with the brush sticking out of my mouth. <laughs> I don't know what, I'd be playing canasta with the girls. I don't know what would come over me. I'd just jump up, run into the kitchen and eat a spatula. <laughs> and she goes on like that. And it's like you've been watching me in my own. watching my poor old daddy stand, sit around on the weekends drinking and ruminating. Mm. And, uh, That's what you call it, ruminating. Ruminating. Yeah. And there is a woman, you know, if you go on YouTube, now I predate her, so I just want to make that clear. Uh, I mean, Lucille predates her, but there's a woman on YouTube who eats uh, foam rubber from couches and chairs. Okay. And she's yeah. eaten like six sofas and I don't know how many armchairs. <laughs> She likes the yellow foam best. <laughs> you do that bag lady so beautifully. Oh, thank so you. Well, uh, Trudy. Trudy. I mean, her name used to be Tess, but she changed it to Trudy because I'm doing undercover work. <laughs> and I was not always a bag lady. I used to be a designer and a creative consultant for big companies, Garrison. Take umbrella hats. My idea. <laughs> Protects against sunstroke, rain, and muggers. For some reason, muggers steer clear of people wearing umbrella hats. <laughs> and pantyhose! <laughs> pantyhose and a plastic goose egg. Mwah. One thing I personally don't like about pantyhose, when you roll them down to the ankles the way I like them, you can't walk too good. <laughs> to just that most people won't listen to her. <laughs> yeah, they said to me, they said, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Garrison, they asked me, the people on the street, they said, Trudy, the human mind is so strange. I told them, that's nothing compared to the human genitals. <laughs> <laughs> No comment. 
So she, she, but she sees things that other she, people oh, don't she, see. She knows about the world. That's the difference. I mean, she totally understands that what we have to do as human beings, you know, we have to, we have to do better. We have to, um, well, she just knows a lot, you know, even like she, you know, like she said, I, I, I forget important things like, uh, cause you know, she says, I refuse to be intimidated by reality anymore. <laughs> After all, what is reality anyway? Nothing but a collective hunch. <laughs> you know, that's why you know, I know you I know you kind of are quirky like me in some ways. Me? Mm -hmm. Like you? I don't think so. <laughs> I've never been a, a bag man in my life. We well, don't have to. I'll just... be one someday, but I'm not. Mm. Not likely, but maybe. You never know, really. Come back and do the show again, and I'll write right. a better part for you. I'll write a better My part. My part was excellent. What would you like to do? You want to sing next time, or what you want to do? Yeah, but I need the song way ahead of time. Sing opera. <laughs> We don't, no, we don't do the show way ahead of time. We do it. I know you do it way by the skin of your teeth. I'll tell you that. We'll just, we'll just... <laughs> Will you sing a duet with me? I would love to. That would be well, my divine. Would it be wish. a duet where I can take you in my arms? And I Absolutely. And like, and make me supple. Dip. <laughs> <laughs> you go back? Dip. Okay. I could handle that. It's a promise. Yeah. Lily Tomlin. <laughs> This uh, portion of my show is uh, brought to you by the POEM, the Professional Organization of English Majors. You know, a lot of English majors came to Los Angeles with their laptops. They were hoping to write screenplays. And they find that the movie business is not for them. I mean, it, you know, the, more and more movies are not about human feelings. They're, they're about aliens with metal claws for hands who shoot lasers out of their... <laughs> now the movie business is, I mean, it's just a business. And what Californians are really passionate about is, is traffic. And <laughs> that's where English majors really excel. <laughs> wow, looking down at the I-5, Sheila, I can't help but think of that line from The Great Gatsby. So we beat on boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Oh, that is so beautiful, Mindy, yeah. and so right. Right, right. You know, I like to think of that long line of cars moving slowly down there along the five as a conversation about a journey. Oh, in which, oh God, in which people are engaged with each other, yes. even though maybe not verbally, but in some deeper way. Oh, that is so true, <laughs> so true. Because the conversation, listen, listen, it's like, it's like it's inside you, yes, it but it's not oh. about getting to the destination, yeah. Mindy. It's about what happens in the spaces in between. Oh, wow, wow, you know, and everybody's in between spaces silently reaching out towards everyone else's. <laughs> Unless they're listening to public radio. Right. <laughs> and even though, oh God, this is, this is like a revelation. Okay, keep going. Even though people believe they are moving forward, mm -hmm. in fact, they are moving back into the past. Yes. Mindy, Mindy, yes. just like Fitzgerald said, and as you know, being aware of the past is an empowering thing. Oh, you know, awareness is everything, Sheila. Did you see the movie? The Great Gatsby? Yes. Oh, I did, I did, and it was, it was a lot like the I-5. Uh -huh. I, I kept wishing, <laughs> I kept wishing it would end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when there are things that you care about terribly, you will need English majors. A message brought to you by the professional organization of English majors. Oh, yeah. That's our show from the Greek Theater in the Park. Our stage manager is Albert Webster and Todd Barrett. Our lighting designer, Ken Evans. Our house sound engineer, Tony Axtell. Music coordinators, Kate Swee, Catherine Slesher. 
Our script supervisor, Ella Shavonik, with David O'Neill. Our video web guy, Ben Miller. Truck drivers, Russ Ringsack, with Tom Goldman. And our tour wranglers, uh, Carolyn Hans with Deborah Beck. Thanks to all of our wonderful listeners here on KPCC FM. Yeah. Mr. Vince Dwarski, the guy who's all star shooting at. Mr. Pat Donovan playing guitar. Mr. Green playing the guitar with Amber Lane. And the fiddle. Mr. Gary Rander back here on the bass. Peter Johnson playing the drums. The fine horn section. Mr. Kenny Holman and Steve Strand back here. Thanks to our guests tonight. And for acting company, Martin Sheen. Thank you, Martin. Ah. Uh -huh.